Well, I wanted to wish everybody a, a happy late Valentine's Day. Um, also, I wanted to, to clarify a, a picture I showed in the last video that um, this is um, Frank's dad, not Frank. And I wanted to um, to talk about his um, his previous um, car, his um, '68 Super Sport Camaro. Um, this was stolen, actually, when he's going down to uh, Long Be Long Beach um, University. Um, Here's some similar cars. His his didn't have the like a convertible like it was, but it was it was a gorgeous paint job on it. It was a his and and um, Rod's AMX was both with a an old school paint. It's, it's a lacquer job, and it's amazing those paint jobs. They they last for for years and years and his was was gorgeous here's a couple other shots of um, other similar cars but um, Frank's had a, a good looking good looking paint on his car that's for sure I feel bad that um, that he got his pride and joy taken away from him with it being stolen but um, Well, that's it, right? It's Tuesday, February 15th. I wanted to show a continuation of um, my um, engine cradle progress, mounting it on that 290. So I had this side connected before, and I couldn't get to this side, so I I finally hooked up the engine hoist that Craig gave me, my favorite and best sponsor, well, my only sponsor. So uh, hopefully that'll, that's all right with um, holding that an engine weight, it's only two 2x4s two mounted sideways, It'd be better, a little bit more strength if mounted the other way, but um, but it's not fully supported. I just lifted it up enough to get this other side on there, and um, I got two of the of the three bolts connected. So still need to get a threader. It's not the holes. That last third hole is pretty rusted, and um, one of these days this engine pan is going to have to be replaced because it's it's got pit holes so deep that I could see through it on it. But just give me an update. All right, bye. Just wanted to share a few shots. Um, some photos from the that um, Turlock swap meet that I went to. Um, I didn't take a lot of. A lot of pictures, but um, here's like like an overall scene. Of, there's a lot of people down there. There's a lot of lot of vendors. I thought for sure I'd I'd find a, a horn, like I was describing before, that kind of similar to um, that was. A horn that you'd find on a on a on my old '69 Camaro is the same. It looked like the same thing. Here's a a bunch of like this is an example of of the manifolds that you come across. There's tons of manifolds, and these there's a lot lot couple of them that are for a quad setup, but. There's there's one guy I came across that had um, had tons of of um, not dual quads or triples 
triple deuces like this one is but uh, we had like a whole couple tables of and it was all small block Chevys there was a lot of li like this there was um, cars for sale like crazy out there there's a, there's a good looking um, 57 Chevy that was uh, that they had out there some more more intakes and but that's a that's a dual quad setup but not what I was looking for for the um, aluminum intake for my um, AMC 390 and this one this was um, really interesting here that um, is deceiving that you seen this old Corvette and then it didn't make sense that but they was advertising for a a 50 Ford um, custom body and I didn't get a shot of it but um, right to the left of it they had a picture of this um, this custom body and it, it sounded like a reasonable price for um, for this thing because the, the custom body had um, twin um, front windshields one for the passenger and one for the driver so a separate separate wind windshields for front windshields on on that on that Ford it's pretty cool I thought it was pretty reasonable for it had to be a custom body because I've never seen one of those production cars like that the old motorcycle I used to ride motorcycles don't don't ride them anymore though Well, that is interesting to me because that, that that Ford emblem on the front of it, I like that. And then um, this is the last picture of it. That the reason I'm including it here because um, one of the first bikes that me and my brother Dean had was um, was old twins, and his was a, a purple um, banana seat bike like this it was um, purple and the seat was a banana seat with a with a white so this this reminded me a lot of it okay bye